The legendary Nelson Mandela called Castro a tower of strength. While American pastor and civil rights activist Jesse Jackson said the Cuban leader was the most honest and courageous politician he'd ever met. And the first prime minister of independent India thought of Castro as a very brave man. Well, earlier I spoke to legal analyst and media critic Lionel, who says he was personally raised at a time of American imperialism aimed at toppling Castro. He believes the iconic figure and personality of Fidel will leave a huge mark on history as he changed politics. I've got to tell you from a personal uh, level, I was raised, I was born in Tampa, in Florida, and my whole life, uh, it seems I have been living in the, the, the shadow, the specter, if you will, of Fidel Castro from the missile crisis. I'm also from Tampa, which is now the home of CENTCOM, which then was the home and still is the home of MacDill Air Force Base. I lived constantly in the shadow and the threat, if you will, of Cuba. My friends growing up, many of them were Cuban refugees. I was raised, this is from a personal level now, of hearing nothing but Castro and Cuba and communism and then Russia and this, the, the two were intermixed. Then there was the, perhaps part of it, myth, uh, myth Operation Mongoose, the CIA, from the Bay of Pigs to the CIA planning to allegedly assassinate uh, Castro through exploding cigars and thallium poisoning where his beard would fall out. I mean, I have spent my entire life basically following a parallel course in, in, in Florida and so many of my friends hearing about and, and always being reminded of of Cuba. It changed the politics because in that particular case, the Miami, Florida Republicans were so connected, so so entwined in that of a of an anti-Cuban uh, rhetoric it, that was also a part of the Reagan administration. So to make a long story short, what Fidel Castro meant to American politics, anti-communist, Cold War, Republican cannot be overestimated in the least. He was mythical. Have you ever seen this man speak for hours? You don't even have to speak Spanish. I cannot imagine anybody being or rivaling his speaking style. They used to say, how true it is, he would take a paper clip or a wire, he would put it allegedly in his cigar, and the ash would basically never, he would never lose the ash when he smoked. He was mesmerized. So this man uh, cannot be in any way overstated in terms of the impact, positive, negative, however the media will state, but his, his presence is just non -parallel.